elevations. We have four elevations, but would like to reduce it and have three elevations. And also each elevation would like to have it parallel to the side of the building. Let's start it. Let's go to L01 and select the top elevation symbol and press delete. You can also press delete from here or use keyboard. View north will be deleted so you will notice that this view also will disappear. Okay, but that's fine. And the next step, let's rename it. So west well elevation will be our elevation A. I will go to our project browser window, left click elevation west and then right click rename. Let's call this elevation A. Okay. This will be elevation B. So east, left, right, rename elevation B. And the last one, elevation C. So left click, right click, rename elevation C. Okay, what else I would like to do with elevations? I would like to change the settings as they are now. So if you select this black triangle here, you will get the line. This is the section line and this is the way Revit see the elevation. But I have no control now how to how far I see or where I see. So what I would like to do, select, when you select the line, you can also right click and then select all instances in entire project or view, doesn't really matter, it's the same in this case. So what happened now, I have three elevation marks selected and then and then I can't change what I would like to do. So what I'm going to do, actually I'm going to do uh, one by one. Select it, move this down in extents, check all the boxes and far clipping change or clip with line. Okay. Now I have much more settings, much more options to do. So I'm going to grab this blue dot up and then also this somewhere here and then far clipping somewhere here. Okay. I'm going to do the same for this one. Select that and go to extents, crop view, crop region, annotation crop and then far clipping, change for clip with line. Okay. Do similar change. Be careful not do the same as me that I grab the line. Make sure, Ctrl Z, make sure that you grab the blue dot. Okay? And then you can stretch the line. So, leave it somewhere here, then go up somewhere here, and then far clipping into the middle. The same for this elevation. Check the boxes, clip with line, OK. And this time I'll go over the, the building, so go to the app part and then select this and move somewhere here. And when you select this, make sure that the blue dotted line covers the entire building. Okay, what's next? Uh, the next I would like to do is um, I'll show you one thing. 
if we go to the elevation now, I can see the, the grids. But in a moment, we won't be able to see it because we are going to rotate the elevations. And once we rotate that 30 degrees, then the grids are not perpendicular or parallel to, uh, to the elevation. Actually, it has to be perpendicular to see, um, to be uh, visible in the elevation view. So, what I'm going to do next, select the elevation mark, make sure that you select both, go to the rotate tool, left click, snap to the vertical line and then move it on. You can find 30 degrees or you can just type 30 and enter. Do the same for this elevation, so escape, left click and use the cross window to select it, rotate, left click, 30, enter, and then move it somewhere to the middle, move this one somewhere to the middle, and then select this and make sure that this line, the far clipping, goes all the way down and covers the building. This may be somewhere here. And the same this side, make sure that the far clipping covers the building. Okay, so just to remind you how this looks like, this also covers the building. Okay, so that was how to create, how to uh, modify the elevations. And now you can see we have only three elevations.